Let's see if this works. Okay. So, Lucky, I'm testing this out to see if um, this uh, screen share live uh, actually works. Let me actually check on you, too. Okay, cool, cool, cool. It looks like it works. So let's share this. Live. All right. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Bracha Kodesh. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. All right, this is um, uh, this is an article. All right, that uh, the elder had put in our group chat, and um. It says here, a Dyson sphere could bring humans back from the dead, researchers say. All right, now, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to see the comments, all right, section, since I'm screen sharing, all right, but um, if I'm not, then it's lucky if I'm not able to get to, you know, the comments, all right, but um, it's still welcomed anyway. Okay, so let's see. All right, so as you can see here, it says this cosmic uh, megastructure may be the key to res resurrection and immortality. Okay. And as you can see right here, what they want to do is they want to use the sun. All right. All right, these these guys, man. Let's read this. It says, I'll read a little bit of it, and I'll put the link uh, to this article in the description so you can uh, read it for yourself. But yeah, it's just as it sounds. So it says, uh, Russian researchers have outlined several ways technological resurrection may be possible in the future including a method called digital immortality all right digital immortality restoration based on recordings it says uh, in this method a super intelligent ai artificial intelligence uh uses the the cosmic dyson sphere megastructure to harness computing energy from the sun Humans can't build a Dyson sphere yet, but the researcher says nano robots could one day do the job. All right, and as we've always told you, all right, this man has a god complex. This man wants to be every every science, every well pseudo pseudo science, I should say, and every concept, every new invention he brings out is always to try and challenge the Most High. You know, it's, it's always to try and say, well, whatever you've set up, I can do the same or i can do better or whatever the case may be all right now now it's reached a point where they want power over life okay and they're trying to use the technology all right the knowledge of the of the tech world that the lord gave them in order to attain that level but that's not a level that you're going to be able to reach all right the lord gave you the the knowledge so that you can fulfill prophecy okay but it's out it's 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 past your bounds all right it's further than you can go all right, to have the power over the spirit, because that's what it is. You know, scientists like to break it down and tell you uh, all these components, you know, this and the that and the third and, you know, and the the, the nuclear, the chemical reactions in your body and the organs. But when you when you come down to the nitty gritty, the life force. All right. Is your spirit. OK, now let me just confirm. Let me just make sure everything is good here. Let's see what, what we got here. All right. Um. So, Lucky, I just want to uh, check to make sure that I'm not just speaking in vain here. Okay. Uh, check to make sure that I'm all right, not just... All right, so it seems everything is good. So, periodically, I'll check, you know, the comment board uh, via, you know, um, YouTube. So, it says here, um, uh, where are we at? In the, in the far future, long after you've died, you'll eventually come back to life. So will everyone else who ever had a hand in the history of human civilization. But in this scenario, returning from the dead is the relatively normal part. The journeying, the journey home will be a hell of a lot weirder than the destination. And who, who do we know, you know, well, where do we hear the stories of resurrection, people coming back from the dead and whatever the case may be is in the scriptures. You know, the Lord raising people back from the dead, you know, the disciples, you know, spiritual power are miracles done by uh, the Heavenly Father through certain men on the earth. And now Esau wants to have that power. He wants to be able to say, well, if you can bring somebody back from the dead, but he doesn't understand how that works. All right. When you die, your spirit goes. Let's, let's go to it. 
All right, let's get it real quick. Um, then we'll come back here. Then shall the dust. Okay, this is the book of Ecclesiastic, uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 7. It says here, then shall the dust return to the earth as it was. Okay, now that dust, let's see what the word return uh, says here. All right, uh, Shawab, it says uh, to return back, to come, to go back, to turn back. Um, okay, so basically to return back, which what what, what does that mean? It, it, it uh, decomposes, it breaks down into the earth. Okay, so the dust, meaning your flesh, is going to return to the earth. And that's why you have decomposers like worms and so on and so forth. And they're going to break down your body and return the different uh, uh, components that the earth needs from your body back into the earth. It says, as it was, and the spirit, all right, the life force, the spirit shall return onto the most high who gave it. Okay. So that means that you're, you're going to go to the spirit world. All right. Your spirit is going to go to the most high in the spirit world. They like to try and break it down and say it's your consciousness. You know, you're, you're, that's what makes you you. No, it's your spirit. Okay. You can try to replicate, which is what they're, the concept of the article is saying. They're trying to replicate you, but you don't have the power to call down, call down the spirit of somebody from the spirit world. Okay. And, and we're going to go to it. All right. In the book of Ecclesiastes, the eighth chapter and the eighth verse, uh, I'll start at, um, Verse seven, it says, uh, for he knoweth not that which shall be for who can tell him when it shall be. Verse eight, there is no man that hath power over the spirit to retain the spirit. And when you go into the word retain. OK, it says here. Um, Kala. All right. Um, to restrict, restrain, withhold. OK. To shut up, to restrain. So you don't have the power to retain the spirit. All right. Meaning when it's time to go, the spirit is going to return back up to the heavenly father, back to the spirit world. All right. You And, and Esau, you don't through your, it doesn't matter how advanced your technology is. This is beyond carnality. All right. This is the spiritual, you know, you can try to clone a body or you replicate a body using uh, human like material and this, that, and the third and try to, uh, uh, you know, revive a person based on the simulation of what they would be like but their actual spirit all right the life force of the individual you don't have power over that okay and uh as paul mentioned here and then we'll go to the article uh in the book of second corinthians the fifth chapter it says for we know that if our earthy house of this tabernacle were dissolved we have a building of god and house not made with hands eternal in the heavens all right, now the house he's talking about is our bodies because our bodies house our spirits, okay? So if our earthly bodies were dissolved, all right, we have a, a spiritual body in the spirit world. Paul mentions that also in 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter. There's a spiritual body and there's a natural body, okay? It says, um, for, we, for in this we groan earnestly designed, desiring to be clothed upon with our house, which is from heaven. All right. If so be, because that's why they say you rest in peace, because when you go over there, it's not you don't when you're when you're in the spirit world, in that spiritual body, you're not feeling the pain and the, 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 the stressful desires of the flesh. OK, it says, if so be that being clothed, we shall not be found naked for we that are in this tabernacle do groan being burdened, not for that, uh, not for that we would be unclothed, but clothed upon that mortality might be swallowed up of life okay so not that you should be without a body but that this mortal body all right should be uh, uh, uh swallowed up with life that you know basically you know we will get a, a body that's not mortal okay that doesn't deteriorate that doesn't break down okay so now real quick let's go now to first corinthians 15 all right and let's hit the point and then we go to the article um all right first corinthians chapter 15 verse uh, let's go here to 44 it says it is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. So the natural body obviously is going to be for when you're on the earth. Okay. That's the, the house that your spirit dwells in on the earth. 
And then when you go to the spirit world, you have a spiritual body where your, your spirit dwells in that in the spirit world. So when they say that they're going to be able to uh, revive you or bring you back, they, they can't do that because they can't call down your actual spirit. All right. So it says, imagine in the far, far future, long after you've died, you eventually come back to life, which through reincarnation, that happens anyway. Okay. It says, eventually come back to life. So will everyone who has ever... Oh, I read this part already. Let's jump down. It says, uh, here's how it will go down. A mega structure called a Dyson Sphere will, pro will provide a super intelligent artificial agent, AI, with the enormous amounts um, of power it needs to collect as much historical and personal data about you. So it can rebuild your exact digital copy. And that's exactly what it would be. It would just be a digital copy. All right. Now, um, there's a TV show. Man, I forgot the name of the show. Oh, boy. Uh, I believe it's on Amazon Prime, if I'm not mistaken. And it's uh, Angel or something like that. I forgot the name. Uh, up, uh, Upload or, you know, something along those lines where you, when you die, you get to, you know, either choose if you want to have a natural death, you know, you just die. Or if you if, if you want them to upload your conscience onto a, a server. So when you die, you, you basically wake up in that digital world and that's where you stay. That's like your heaven. You stay there forever. OK, and that's a, and then, you you know, you're able to contact people, you know, who are you have people that work from like an actual office, the living and they can, you know, digitally tap into that digital world and speak to you over there because you're like a program. OK, and that's basically what they're trying to do here. All right. With a copy of you. But it's not the same thing. A copy is not it's not you. All right. And just because you have information about somebody and you put that information together and try to form it into a uh, some form of a body, that doesn't make that person them. It's just like a clone. All right. But this is the level. Now, please tell me why would why is this what you're thinking about? <laughs> you know, that's the question for Esau. Why is this what you're thinking about? Which we already know because you're the devil. But here it is. I mean, you have all the money in the world. You have riches on riches. Just enjoy your life. You know, just in, just chill out and enjoy your life. But you want to spend money. I mean, and the, the funny thing is, as we're going to read on down, this isn't even going to benefit anybody in this generation or the next generation or the next generation. This is something that's going to, uh, if they able to set this up, I mean, hundreds of generations down the line. So why the hell? <laughs> it, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro. Man, that's why this devil got to go, because if he's left in power, this is the kind of outrageous things that he's going to try to implement. So when they see that new world order doesn't stop at in their minds, it doesn't stop at just, oh, well, everybody's chipped now so we can stop. No, it's going to keep on progressing to where they want to recreate everything and have themselves play the role of God in it all. But instead of using the spirit, they want to use technology. OK. Um, let's see. Shalom, shalom. Um, all right. This is a, a brother's keeper. Issachar, wisdom of Solomon, eight and 17 uh, to, uh, to 21, I believe. OK, uh, eight and 17. It says, uh, now, when I considered these things in myself and pondered them in my heart, how that to be uh, allied onto wisdom is immortality, okay? Not through a Dyson sphere trying to harness the energy of the sun, <laughs> okay? It says, and great pleasure it is to have her friendship and in the works of her hands are infinite riches and in, and in the exercise of uh, conference with her prudence and in taking with her a good report. And I went about seeking how to take her to me for I was a witty child. And had a, a good spirit. Yea, rather being good, I came into a body undefiled. Nevertheless, when I perceived, when I perceived that, I, I guess that's where it ends. Okay, but as Solomon is going into, is through wisdom. The Lord said he's going to give us an immortal body. You know, he, he said he's going he's gonna to give us eternal life. It's not going to be through technology. All right, that's right. Spiritual Arc 144K. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I, am he. 
and there is no God with me, I kill and I make alive. All right, not an AI. I, here it is. Everybody's going to be, you dead and you in the spirit world, you know, and you plead into the most high, you plead in your case out of nowhere, shoop. You know, you just get dragged back onto the earth. Angels looking around like, whoa. You know what I'm saying? Turning around, looking at each other. What's going on? What happened? And they look on the earth and you in, a, you in, you in some technological world down there. Like, oh, hey, how you doing? You know, Esau just dragged me back. As if, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the most high wouldn't be the most high. All right. If, if, if Esau was able to do that, you know, and, and he's just dead. Oh, what's going on? What? No. All right. So like he said, I wound, I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Okay. It says, uh, the Lord, uh, first Samuel two and six, the Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh, maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. All right. So going back to the article, the, this is the mindset that this devil has. And you want to take this guy to the kingdom on the same level as you? You want him to be saved? We need to be saved from this devil. Okay. Now, I didn't finish. I didn't. I remember now. Let's go back. Because uh, the scriptures tell you explicitly. All right. Ecclesiastes 8 and 8. There is no man that hath power over the spirit to retain the spirit. So when it's your time to go, you can't keep your spirit here. You don't have power over it. Okay, now through spiritual power, the Lord is able to call back the spirit into somebody, you know. It says, neither have he power in the day of death. So when is your, that's why the Lord said none can deliver out of his hand. When he appoints your death, you're all oh, five more minutes. You know, like it's an, it's an alarm clock you can hear snooze on. No, you don't have power in the day of death. When it's time for you to die, the Lord calls your spirit. It's going to separate from your body through whatever means he wants the lord doesn't even need to have your body uh get uh messed up he can just pull your spirit out you're just standing there and you just drop dead like um like uh uh he had with uh uh sephora and ananias okay uh how he was just standing there before peter and the the, the, the lord took the spirit out of him you know the lord can do that you don't have power to retain your spirit and pull it back into your body no it says, and there is no discharge in that war. Neither shall wickedness deliver those that are given to it. Okay. So now let's go back. Uh, it says here, once it is, once it's finished, you'll live your whole life again in a simulated reality. And when the time comes for you to die again, you'll be transported into a simul simulated afterlife. See, so this devil wants to trap your spirit. He wants to keep you and, and give you no escape. What if I want to go to the spirit world? Oh, no, you're stuck here in this artificial intelligence and you're just going to be here. You know, you're just going to be in here. Like, why? What? You know, trying to defy the orders, the natural order of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And that's why you will be brought down. Okay. And there will be no mercy. All right. Upon this devil. It says, um, You'll be transported into a simulated afterlife, a la Black Mirror's son, uh, Junipero, where you'll get to hang out with, with your friends, family, and uh, favorite celebrities forever. But we don't need that. This, this, what we're reading about here is a, is a, is a horrible, horrible, uh, uh, failed attempt of trying to replicate the kingdom, trying to replicate the blessings we're going to get. All right. If you notice that the things the Lord said he's going to bless us with, that's what this devil wants to do here. All right via his technology he can't get spiritual power so he tries to use technology you know he can't he can't be immortal he wants to use technology you know make you live longer download uh, upload your conscience to the cloud and then download it back into a, a a body all this down in the third bro just just stop all right just stop it says yes this is mind-boggling but someday it might also be very real now you think these other heathen kings were out here worried about this you know, they used to get in, they, they, which they were off anyway, getting into their left hand, worshiping their idols. But you think Xerxes was sitting there like, man, I wonder how I'm going. I'm going, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> a, a hundred, a hundred billion years from now, you know, come back to life via a, a, a Dyson sphere. I'm trying to harness the energy of the sun. The man has had 127 provinces. He's worried about, you know, making sure his enemies ain't trying to, you know, revolt and come against them and, you got this devil out here 
what, and that's why let's go real quick to the book of Micah. And when we call this man the devil, you want to attack us. But look at look at what the hell he's doing. That's not freedom. That's not cool. You know, that's not cool. That bring you with your download. Your, that's not cool. People like to think, oh, that's so cool. Look at that technology. No, it's not cool. All right. It's cruel will because it's against nature. It's against the righteous order of doing things. All right. The most high is above all. So whatever he's instituted into place, that is the correct way to be done. All right. And if you go against that, you will be destroyed. Micah 2 and 1, woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. And that's what they do. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. All right. And they're trying to do everything, scratching, clawing, whatever, to try and uh, uh, stay in power. But my man, so your time, once your time is up, your time is up. All right. And we're going to be, man, the day Yahushua returns, man. Brothers, man, the day Yahushua returns. Oh, my goodness. All right, it's going to be a hell of a day, man. That that relief, that joy, I mean, just knowing, just even just the re the relief of knowing this devil is done, done. This isn't a pump fake. <laughs> this isn't a prophetic pump fake. No, how shy is actually here? And we are good. You know, we are good from then to all for all of existence. We are good. All right, and we're only going to move from glory to glory, from greatness to even further greatness. You know, we haven't even began to tap. Oh, my gosh. Just, you know, that's why we labor and do the things we, you know, endure what we endure. Okay. Because this is just hell, man. All right. So it says, um, this is plan C of the immortality roadmap. And no, why the hell would you want to be immortal in a wicked ass society? The scriptures say um, in the book of Revelation. Okay. I believe it's chapter 11. Or chapter 12, I think it's chapter 12, let's see. Uh, I, I always get this mixed up. I, I believe it might be 11, though. Uh, love not their lives unto their death. Or, wait, let's see. Love not, or 15, let's see. Let's find out. 12, 12 and 11. Uh, that's why I get it mixed up. This is Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. It says, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and the Lamb is Yahushai, and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto their death. All right, let's see what it has here for the word loved. Okay. All right, I got Paul. And it says, to welcome, to entertain, to be fond of, to love dearly, to be, to be well, well pleased. Okay, okay, and that's we don't we're not well pleased with this lifestyle. Okay, okay, because this uh, Ezekiel nine and four, we're signing and crying for the abominations that are that are being done in the midst of this place. Okay, okay, we're not well pleased with with the wickedness. All right, all right, of this place. So why the hell would you want to be immortal in a society like this? That's just that's 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 literally like like that that uh, uh, doctrine of hell. You want to you want to be immortal in this place? This place, this place is hell. Yeah, they, like, they like to say you die, you, die, you burn, burn forever. 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 They, they, they want to keep you here in this hell forever. Because, because if you start ruling, you're always going to be on the bottom. But he but wants, he to, wants make to make that permanent. He wants to make that permanent. It says, let's see where we are at. All right, all right. This, this, this is plan C of the immortality roadmap, a project in which Russia and transhumanist life, life extensionist uh, Alexei Turturgin has been working since 2014. Uh, Turturgin recently, recently laid out the details, details of a paper published with fellow transhumanist and transhumanist. Now, now they, they use those, those terms. terms. All right, all right. Transhumanist. My, my goodness. It says that Maxim Chernyakov called the last classification of a conscious technological resurrection. And he involved life like extension, cryonic, and quantum mortality, respectively. You can you find our gardens just to find how you can use the immortality in the paper. paper. So you see, see, this is what they spend their time, time, time when you have to have to start starving. All right, all right. Starving, starving death, death. You know, you know all, 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 all the money is off of all the money. And you're, 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 but you're spending your money, money and your entire time, time on, on quantum immortality and, and some, some, you know, what's that? that? Uh, 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 and life, life extension. How about, about fix the, the actual life before you try, you know what I'm saying? 
It says, uh, when Turkey was 11 years old, a girl in his class died. He experienced plans at the first season of possibility of eternal life life in his young mind. Ooh, so he became the savior of death. And see, here, everybody trying to prevent us from all dying, trying to go against the You see how they like to spin it to make it seem like here's some protagonists, or here's some heroes. A friend of friend died when he was young, young. And that inspired him to go on his journey and trying to figure out about mortality. You know, he you know, finally he figures it out, a mad scientist, and now you have your body. Get the hell out of here, bro. bro. We all right, all right. All right, we all right. We'll stick to the way the most outside of it, though. Um, let's see, see. And here it goes into how he basically, yeah, let's, let's, let's read down here. It says, um, it says, uh, Turkin is recording and keeping diaries of every dream, conversation, and daily experience he has. This practice of ubiquitous surveillance, throughout which Turkin says he even records his own biases, uh, is necessary because the super intelligent AI needs to subject future resurrectees to the same, to the exact same developmental conditions they went through when they lived for the sake of their authenticity, he says. Once the AI creates your precise digital copy, Anything is possible, even restoration to biological life, says Turkin. The AI will, will uh, dodgingly search for your DNA. It will even dig up your grave, because only then will it be able to create a clone of your physical body, wherein your digital copy will find its temple. You see that? They want your digital copy to be a, like your spirit, and uh, they're going to create a, a physical body to put your... your, your you hear this? <laughs> to put your digital body inside, man. And that's why they want to, they got this Neuralink and this, that, and the third. Man, you know, here it is. You, you, put, you put a helmet on or, you know, they, they download your brain onto something. So you close your eyes and then you open your eyes and you're in a different body. You know, and it feels like you, it looks like you, you know, because they've taken your, your so-called mind or whatnot and put it into a different body, a robotic body. All right, this is what the devil is planning, okay? Just madness, man. Complete wickedness. <laughs> this guy, he, he just has to go, man. He just has to go. All right, um, let's see. Yep, upload, upload. The water, brother. Uh, Nathan, yeah, what's up? The name of the, uh, the, name of the, the, the show is Upload. All right, you can check it out. You'll see exactly what I'm mentioning here, or what, what we're reading about is right there. Okay. Uh, this is rehearsing righteous Acts nine, Psalm sixty eight and twenty. He that is our God is the God of salvation, and unto God the Lord belong uh, belong the issues from death. Not you, Esau. You don't have the power to do that. Now let me let me since you know I can access the common board. Let me copy it and I'll put the link. All right. You said you said there's audio static. You, is there is it hard to hear? Let me know if the if the audio is good. Let me know if the if the audio is good. Cause I'm uh, I'm pretty much uh, about to end. Let me know if the if the audio is good. All right, all right, the water. The water. I don't know why it's um, uh, up, but I'm uh, pretty much uh, about hey, to end. Let me you know, know about to end it anyway. Just wanted good. to bring that out right, real quick. Right, the, water. the link to the, the water. article. I don't know why it's uh, up, but in the uh, comment board. I'll hey, put it. Let me know about to end it anyway. Just wanted to bring that out. Yeah, um, I put it in the description. So hey, just you know, that's that's the devil, man. All right, that's what he's doing now. But that's why we gotta pray. Pray to you, Hashem Yahushai, for fewer days. Pray that he brings this devil down. The sooner, the better, man. Because as the scriptures say, if he does, the Lord didn't deliver us, there shall no flesh be saved. As the, if the days were not shortened, all right. But the Wadi Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, all right, that He will shorten those days, all right, for the elect's sake. All right. So with that, I hope you were edified. In closing, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rechakudash. Until next time.